Recent flooding and landslides in South Korea where meteorologists are struggling to predict increasingly extreme weather using traditional methods. An event that used to occur once every 50 years might now occur once every 10 years. These changes are problems that arise due to climate change and such changes are difficult to predict. The Weather Bureau is now using AI to improve forecasting. But even bigger advances are being driven by private sector companies assisting heavy industry, farmers and the government with disaster prevention. In the case of raincast, what is needed is now casting, predicting weather in a very short period of about six hours to within one day. Existing numerical models have limitations in predicting over such a short period. This startup has developed an AI platform that deals with areas as small as a single house. By using our devices, farmers as well as individuals who keep personal gardens can use them to know the weather right in front of their homes. But big challenges remain. Due to climate change, extreme weather events are increasing in frequency and intensity. However, such events are not present in past data sets. If something does not exist in a data set, AI cannot learn from it. Therefore, when it comes to predicting changes in frequency or intensity of extreme weather, AI face serious difficulties. Difficulties that are not impossible to overcome. If the recent data from such events are well collected and used for specialized training, it is possible to develop AI models tailored to those unusual phenomena. Which could mean better prediction and prevention of weather-related disasters saving lives and property. I think meteorology is one of the fields where the development of AI is most helpful. AI-powered platforms like Google's Flood Hub are already widely used by the public. Experts say new technology could also help fight climate change by promoting smarter energy use and making renewable energy like wind and solar power more reliable and as a consequence more widely adopted. Jack Barton, Al Jazeera, Seoul. Don't miss out and get the full picture. Subscribe to Al Jazeera for reliable news and expert insights. Like, share, stay ahead.